The Mine Overlay Site Testing Facility, or MOST facility, funded by Western Economic Diversification, is the first of its kind in the world to do indoor testing of mine cover systems. mines around the world, one of the largest costs of closure is the cover system. This is the way to isolate the tailings and the waste rock from the environment. And typically, a soil cover is built. And these covers are designed to store and release water and to provide a growth medium for vegetation. And the point is to limit the amount of water and oxygen that gets into the tailings below because this uh, can have negative environmental consequences. We're working on the rainfall simulator main structural frame. The whole point of the rainfall simulator is to wheel it over the trailer. It's going to have a pulley system attached to it, which will allow us to raise and lower the needle drop formers of the simulators. So we can simulate rain close to the surface or rain that reaches terminal velocity falling from 20 feet. We have control over the boundary conditions that we wouldn't normally have in a natural field setting. And we have very good spatial control with these needle drop forming uh, rainfall simulation system. Our hill slopes are set on load cells. These are devices that measure the weight of the hill slope and we can quantify very precisely the change in storage. Internal to the hill slope, we have an array of sensors that measure pore pressure, that measure soil moisture, that measure soil temperature. So we can evaluate how freezing is affecting the infiltration of water and its movement both vertically and laterally in the cover system. In addition to the tracking of the rain water as it moves into the hill slope and moves through the hill slope, we're also studying its isotopic composition. Isotopes of water are essentially a tag that we can use to trace water from its precipitation form through the hydrologic cycle. And it's important here because we can use it as a way of mapping how water might migrate through some of these mine overlay systems that we'll be testing here. We're tracking the water molecule with the stable isotopes of water. And we make these uh, samples both in the soil and in the runoff that we're collecting at the base of the slope. And we can say things then about the flow path of water, how long it's taken to transit through the hill slope system. We have two different scenarios going on for evaporation experiments. The first container is just filled with water. The second one is filled with a mixture of sand and water. What we're trying to do here is determine whether or not soil or sand in this instance is having a significant effect on the evaporative signal isotopically as compared to just pure water. So we're also measuring the um, isotope concentration with depth every 10 centimeters through the profile to see if there's any profile effects as well. If we know the evaporation rate of what's going on out here in kind of a closed system where it's not being influenced by rainwater, we should be able to directly know what that water signal should look like inside as well. So we can get the same isotopic signatures, hopefully matching up from inside to outside. In addition to our indoor test facility here at MOST, we have outdoor hill slopes where we're examining the role of ground cover. These are our outdoor mini hill slope systems here at MOST. The purpose of our mini hill slope systems is to set up a series of different mine cover systems so that we can test a variety of different plants all at the same time under the same conditions on variable hill slope angles and better understand which system is going to be most useful as a mine cover system. In each of these hill slopes, we can change the angle, build the soil profile for whatever a company needs, and install whatever sensor arrays that they would want to have inside of there. We will bring some of these vegetated covers indoors to go through some of our rainfall runoff experiments. We're hoping in the future to add on greenhouse facilities here to the building to do controlled experiments in the greenhouse setting. 
Mine covers currently are designed by computer model and then that is used to design the layering and implement the cover system on site. Here we're able to test these models. We've got a Ferro Freestyle laser-based 3D scanner. This works as we wave it over a surface to create a 3D digital map. So once it's in the computer, we can manipulate the image, look at it from different angles. You're able to see elevation changes, stones, cobbles. We can zoom in and out to different features to look at them. We'll be able to calculate volumes of soil in the trailer as well as track erosion and any other sort of geotechnical parameters of settlement and that sort of thing. We can export into XYZ coordinate systems where we can import into computer-based modeling to model what we're testing in the lab to see how the results compare to the mathematics that exist present day for analyzing the different features of hill slopes. In Western Canada alone, there's about a hundred mines in operation and about half of them are requiring mine covers in the next uh, 20 to, to 30 years. Uh, this represents quite a significant cost. We're really trying to understand some of the natural evolution processes to better inform designers, consultants, uh, mine company operators. And this is where most can really make a difference. We can do testing to make design more efficient, more environmentally friendly, and reduce cost.